Hi everyone, today we are going to decorate these two cakes. First, let's make butter icing by combining 1 and 1 fourth cups of milk to 3 fourths cup of sugar. When the sugar is well blended, you may add 3 pieces of ice cubes and drops of almond flavor. Set aside. Then, we will work on the creaming of the butter. Butter should be at room temperature. Or, slightly cooler than room temperature is actually better. Creaming butter is uh, the process of mixing butter and sugar together to create a soft and creamy state used in baking. Mixer is needed in softening the butter. If you are really in a rush, you can also cheat by warming the butter in a microwave. Be very careful if the butter melts, it will not cream properly and if you will have to start again with new butter. So this time, we are going to add liquid to our cream butter. If you have made your butter cream and uh, it's on the firm side, you can always add a couple of tablespoons of cold water or milk mixture to soften the consistency and make it easier to Never add too much liquid to your buttercream. Adding additional liquid to your buttercream, such as flavorings or purees, can make it far too liquidy to come together nicely. And you don't want to have to add a bunch of powdered sugar to thicken it up because it will be far too sweet. You may chill buttercream that is too soft for 15 minutes to achieve a firmer consistency. Continue beating the butter and liquid. Once all of the liquid has been added, beat vigorously but steadily. As you continue to beat the butter, and a mixture will increase in volume and become increasingly lighter in color. When all of the mixture or the milk mixture and the butter has been perfectly creamed, it should be of white in color and have almost doubled in volume. The texture should be thick and creamy, almost like mayonnaise. The frosting should form a somewhat stiff peak that has a little curl on the end. It's stiff enough to hold up the curl but soft enough to create that little curl. That little curl is a great visual cue to know that your frosting is just the right consistency. A relatively thick and dense frosting. This is how to frost a cake step by step. You may use this easy to follow instructions to learn how to frost a cake like a professional. Let's try it. After trimming the cake, completely cool each tier before you start working with your cake. Stack the cake and then add a crumb coat. Cover the cake with a thin layer of frosting is called a crumb coat and it ensures that the final layer of frosting looks spectacular. It doesn't have to be pretty, just even. Then place a second layer on top and press down gently. You may put the cake in a fridge for about 30 minutes until well chilled and firm. After removing the cake from the fridge, finish frosting. Use a nice dollop and move the frosting along the side of the cake, removing the excess as you turn the pan on your head. The star is perhaps one of the easiest and most versatile of the beginner piping techniques. The great thing about the star is that the tip does not all the work for you. Simply squeeze and pull away. To pipe a shell, you hold your piping bag at a 45 degree angle and squeeze while pulling away. As you repeatedly squeeze and pull away, each shell overlaps the tail of the previous shell. We now moved on to the final decorations of the cake. Once your cake has been frosted smoothly, it should be ready for further decorations. Let's decorate a cake in a simple way. 
simple ways to embellish your cakes that don't take much skill. Icing decorations can be made by either piping icing flowers and decorative borders of a molding sugar paste fondant or flowers and figures. Some tips to follow. If you don't have a piping nozzle, using a Ziploc bag as a piping tip is fast and easy. So you don't need to purchase another bag or another tip. It's all in one. The benefits of using a Ziploc bag are that it's easy to use, fast, cheap, and readily available. One cake is almost over. Let's move on to the other cake. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Hanggang sa muli. Salamat sing madamo.